Push and play again. Okay. All right, so first matchup underway. Let's see if we can match what we did last time, right? We are in platinum now. So we did that push through gold. So I did at the very beginning of the month, I did my last murders of Karlov. I got seven wins, then we got seven wins. And so even though there was a reset, it only took two drafts to get me into the platinum. So we'll see awesome. if we have some slightly harder competition. So no green. This, this hand looks great. We've got Peddler to yeah. cycle one of our red. We've got a desert on one access to white yeah this feels pretty good i i'm i'm pretty optimistic we can find a forest but... yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna ditch a mountain with oh, like this hand 100 oh nice yeah. and we got our mana fix anyway yeah but i also agree on ditching a mountain here yeah yeah and i think because you know i think i do like peddler in this deck it does help you know smooth considering how sort of janky yeah no i do is. like it when you are going three colors for that fact I For mean, sure. the one thing I was thinking with the ankle biter was just because one, I have no like bite spells, and right. we with our number of deserts, there's a good chance. Well, we have savage smash, doesn't? Isn't that a fight spell? Oh, that's or right. That... We do have one. I mean, it's a pump and yeah. So I like going uh, gardener here and just trying to get our mana going. I think I do as well. I don't want to battle. No, I think, yeah, I like I like Gardener and then just like getting our mana online and then holding back Peddler to chump or to block their Grizzly. Yeah, because obviously you would rather the Peddler block. For sure. So next turn we have at least the option then for five mana, get a drop, and we could remove something if they have a big. Yeah, agreed. If not, we just drop two creatures on them. Yeah, double spelling is great. They do swing in. So I think it, it, let's find let's see their trick. Yep. I mean like if you want to use your trick, use your trick. Good chance you're not gonna use a trick and then be able to play another creature. So we're totally happy with this. Yeah, we're fine with that. No trample. We'll take that all day. Mm-hmm. Oh nice. Okay. So I think I am gonna double drop creatures, just another good creature to get in and block with. Yeah, I agree, because I think that our removal is, is better served on, like, their bigger creatures. Yep. Now, this is interesting. We drew Cactus Sure Shot, but I think I still want to do the double spell. I like want the double spell. About. It's not as mana efficient to play this. And number two, I'm not blocking it with block it. well. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. All right. And if they want to use another trick on us, then so be it. So be it. Yep. I am t questioning though if I want to block with this as well. Um, I I definitely would block one of them. I mean, I know this is going to block one of them. Just question if I want to block this. I mean, we already know we have some other removal coming up. I think I. I would. don't want I mean, the beaver to be able to saddle them and grow, so I think I am going to probably just block here. I would block with both. For sure. Yeah. So we will take a little bit of damage, right? It, Four damage in. Like we're cleaning up their board, and then like exactly. we're gonna have two pieces of hard. If we get land, we don't get the land. But... Oh, and we've got right, summoner. So we, we will play oh, this. So good. Yes, and then is. we'll go ahead and take care of their beaver as well. Yeah, I love that. And then next turn we could drop that down. Hopefully, yep. they don't have and a good block right here. They're getting some value. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. So I definitely like our blocks. We're oh yes. I mean yes, that that's a future us problem. But, but but not yet. <laughs> yeah, and, and like, we, have, like, we have the removal for it anyway. Yeah, I like double spelling here too, for sure. Yeah. And then getting some value. Oh, Getting, getting so that good. extra little dino out there. They're gonna play, so the only thing is if they double spell, I still probably attack with this. 100%. Just get an extra three one anyway, but we yeah, are gonna take care of the, oh my gosh, they do it again on us. Now we've got Mystical Tether, so we can uh, make our own five five. Actually, no, never mind. Let's yeah, just I, Mystical just I'm gonna tether mystical here. tether. Just get another three one out there. Yeah, totally agree. Just push this damage in. Yep. And oh now they're God, just gonna, gonna be too far behind <laughs> to catch up. <laughs> and oh, that's this why so this good. thing could get out of hand so yeah, quick. I think that like Scalestorm Summoner and Burrowing Beaver are two like of the mythic uncommons in this set. Yeah. But, like you pretty much never pass unless you see like a bomb rare. And I think where our opponent made their mistake is just being too aggressive with these swinging sure. in like, like that. It was we bad just developed trades our for board. Them. Yeah. Yeah. We just developed our board, developed our mana, and now we have enough to just push in for 
Because also, Cactus Sure Shot would give our Free Strider... Oh no, I suppose it wouldn't give it haste unless we had plotted it. Yeah. All right, well, but a good, good early win. And again, I just think that would have been a tough game. That would have been a clogged up battlefield type of scenario if they didn't swing in like that. But we just got sure. so much advantage because we were able to trade and now our single removal took it out and then we got all yep. our extra dinos, so. 100%. All right, much better than last time. Well, I don't know, last time, right? We lost the first one and then we won seven in a row. So uh, <laughs> let's hope that's not our one win. We have all the land. This is oh, a keep to me. Oh, this amazing, yeah. So go ahead and keep. Lead out with the heath. It's a, a little slow. Okay. I think it's all right. I mean, it, it's not terrible. It I'm just saying, right? We have no removal in here. We wouldn't want to plot on turn four before we drew this. That is, that's so true. So it would have been turn three, turn four, nothing. Yeah. They didn't play anything on two, which is great. Ooh, I just realized we don't have red. Um, we do not. Yeah. Okay. So, so I think we will have, have to play this if we get nothing. I think so too. Yeah. All right, we have at least enough top end over here. And there's also like the three, like does stop their board right now. It does. So I think I'm still gonna play the free strider here on three. Yeah, I think I just have to, unfortunately. Oh, it's fine. I think like we've got so much business later in the game, we just have to get to it. Yeah, we just couldn't do nothing there. For sure. And we didn't want to use our journey to know where we want to save that for later. We also assume they're gonna have some removal in their hand. So we're probably still taking the four yes. Ooh. Oh, and they're vampiric tutoring. Interesting. Put it on top. I mean, like, unless it's a crazy bomb, that's actually really good for us because it slows down the pressure. It does. And we have removal for their crazy bomb. Yeah, exactly. So now we can just um, plot Spinewood Paladin and then, like, set up. Yeah, so now the nice thing is, right, they have no attack there. Yep. We definitely need red mana, but <laughs> hopefully we, we get do. there. Yeah, unfortunately, and right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, no other option here. Yeah, I think just plot and hold. And we just hold back. We're definitely the more defensive right at the moment. Target creature can't block this turn. Okay, that could come into trouble late game. Could cause issues, for sure. So they're putting in Jolene, looks like. Jolene and a 1-1, one -one? okay. Okay. So now I think we just use our journey to nowhere to get rid of the Jolene. I think so too. Words. And boy, are I mean, like, we in some desperate need of some red. Yeah, but our board is pretty solid right now. So I think we're fine. And like, we're gonna gain some life here. I think I'm gonna like, start could, pushing here too. I think so too, actually. I was gonna say, yeah, I think you can start pushing because we're at 18. So even they if they wanna, like- Yeah, double block, I'm fine with that. Totally, like if we're getting rid of their board, I'm super happy. And now, like, if they get rid of our Paladin, we don't really even care that much. Yeah, I mean, they're just going to be able to get in for three right now. Of course, I mean, we need to find a red. We're, yeah, like, off we the do top care. here, incredibly bad. No yeah, surveil off of it. We absolutely do care, but at least they don't have a ton of pressure right now. Uh, at least we play, got, get a playable. Yeah, well, this is a, uh, this is a really nice one, too, because it's got lifelink. Yeah. Force them to have that removal again. Yep. Well, next turn it won't be that case because they'll be able to use. Oh boy. Ooh, they've got a nasty board though. Ooh. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank okay. God we got the red. Okay. So now I think we just go sure shot, right? I think so or too. Actually, do we want to go summoner here? I think we kind of go, got to go sure shot. I think we have to go sure great. shot. I think this is going to be too much trouble. Agreed. I think we go sure shot and just try to survive through this. Well, okay, there's. What were you going to say? I suppose yeah, there was an argument for going summoner, I suppose. Just to get back in the game somehow. Yeah, but I think like, honestly. Yeah, I mean, so here's the here's the thing as far as. Blocks, they're going to use both mercenaries probably over here. So right. that's a non block. We're taking four there. Yeah. I guess we hold back so they don't get in for two as well. I think so. I think we hold it back for that reason. Right. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to have to block with this, I think. Oh, yeah. I think we're trading our cactus for their brute, for yeah. sure. Generous okay. Funded. What does this do? Yeah, we could use a treasure. It's extra little pings they're going to hit us with. Oh, actually, target creature can't block this turn. 
Right. So they took that away from me. 100% okay, going right there. Yeah, for We sure. do have to remember that now. I might as well be swinging in with this. True, that's a good point. Seraphic State is a good one. That is a good, oh man. So we'll have to mount with both. Yep, I think that that's worth doing though, 100%. But for now, I think we should, um, let's see, it gets plus X plus X, so it's gonna get plus two plus two. So we definitely attack with this. What do we mount with? Probably, actually the Seraphic have... State is a first strike, so I'd mount with the Summoner probably. Cause well, they're State gonna make a... this, okay, here's the thing though is, I mean. They're gonna make something unblockable for sure. Um, do we, oh yeah, we saddle for three, so we have to saddle the Summoner. Yeah, we have to do that. And and it doesn't really matter because they're just gonna use that mana anyway. We wanna force them to do that though. Agreed. We want to tie up their mana. So I think well, yeah, we could saddle... also just not attack, though. Because, again, That's then they're going to only get in with one creature. They're going to hit us for four. That's it. But if we do attack, we also gain three life and we go to 13. And that's no know, uh, like... attack saddled. It gets plus X plus X in a turn where X is the number of mounts you control. And we control two. mounts. Two, so we gain three life. Yeah, right. All right. I suppose. I mean, we don't have to do this. I was just saying that. I think there's an argument. I think we're for about it. to take an extra two points of damage than we normally would have, though. Okay, I mean, like, yeah, we didn't have to do that if you didn't want to. I just wanted to put it out there as an yeah. option. So this is going to be absolutely key for us in a second. Yeah. That treasure is huge. For sure. If they have removal yeah. for Steed, it's really awkward. But if they don't, it's pretty great. So down to four. Okay. Savage Smash is actually amazing here. So that'll allow us to play yeah. our dis discerning peddler, and then we can Savage Smash, um, and then. Um, how do we I, I actually we don't want to play that. I'm not discarding. Oh yeah, that's true. No, we can play Savage Smash. I'm gonna Savage Smash here. I need uh -huh. to get rid of this because I can't have them keep pinging us. Right. Then I'm going to saddle here. Or wait, yeah. no. This needs a saddle of four. We want to attack with a summer to get a 3-1 for sure. Yeah. So we Savage Smash, kill their Peddler. So that they can't block our... Actually, no, we don't care. No, we don't care about we... that. We have to kill this. Yeah, so Savage Smash the, the Plunderer, right? Well, yeah, we have to kill that. But the question is, and I want to put it on this so we have a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, yeah. And that's going to be four life ganged. That's and then first I think, strike so we can take care of that. And here's then, the thing is, if we saddle the um, st the steed and attack with a the scale storm, then we create an angel and a 3-1 a thingy. We can't do that, though. No, that's true. We don't have enough. Okay, so I guess we just I attack I think the angel is more important. Yeah, so we just attack with Steed and Summoner then, I guess? I think I... Wait, hold on. I'm going to play this. When it enters the battlefield, you may. I'm not going to discard. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I, that's too important to keep that. Okay. Hold on. We got to gotta move here because we're running out well, of time. I know, but we have... I mean, I have to gain life. Yep. I think gaining seven life is just better here. Let's do it. It's a 3-1 dino, though. Hey, I mean, we gotta let's let's get. No, some I'm life going three, here. one dino. Okay, that's cool. I had seconds. <laughs> I just I yeah. need that treasure. I think being able to kill another one of their creatures next turn is just too important. That's and now fine. I have yep. two blockers. They're gonna make one that can't block. Right, I agree. Yeah, I think like we were too worried about too and much value, but and we're too high you... in. Oh, that's interesting. So you're just yeah. going to hit me for four, and I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine, yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to get you. You can Varmint and Collective Defiance. So Defiance, what does Defiance do again? So you could Escalate, and I could also discard my hand, draw that many cards. Plus, uh, Do I have it all? I have five mana. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do it all. Well, let's do it. <clears throat> all right. Boop, boop, boop. 
<laughs> it looks amazing. All right, so target player. target player. Target player discards all the cards. That's me. Yeah. I think this is going to hit us for three damage. Really? The first one, though. Target player discards. Oh, yeah. No, no. You're, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Target a creature. Sure. Get the dredger, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. I guess the prickly pair. Yeah, none of them actually yeah. matter. This actually has ability. Yeah. Prickly pair yeah. doesn't. Let's get let's get the one with the ability. Yeah. That's and fine. target an opponent. There we go. Okay. Now. Now saddle the steed for four. Hundred percent. Everybody, be quick because we're running out of time. Uh, go, go, go. Ace, Ace, we're running out of time. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. No, not at all. Oh, that's right. We didn't have a power four or greater, so I shouldn't have attacked in with that. That was a mistake. It's okay. We that got was my bad. I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're at 10 life right here. <laughs> they can only make one of these unblock or ooh, that can't block. And we'll have lethal on the crack back and flying anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I guess just trying to get a little too much value when we're totally fine because of our life linkers. Right. Yeah, I think that it's, you know, we don't get all of the value maybe, but we survive and we yeah. don't want to time, time being more important. <laughs> yeah, playing all this does not matter to us. They have nothing for flyers. One card in hand. They would have to have the removal. Yeah. We got there. Nice. So, yeah, just figuring out the order of operations there. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, that's the only problem is those are expensive saddle costs. They are, for sure. But, like, the upside is so high, it's crazy. It is. It's just a late game like that. I mean, we just got lucky... They had a small battlefield. They didn't have anything big. We're sitting with a bunch of tutus we're going up against. That's true, so, but like, I mean, that is kind of what Rakdos does. So no green this time, but we have we our mana fixer, Gardner. so I keep this. Absolutely keep 100% of the time. Well, actually, what might have been interesting is actually just... Nah, that's too cute. Uh, oh, yes. Love it. Love it. <laughs> So just depending on what we draw now is kind of what I play out. What do you yeah. lean towards right now with no other information? Uh, Oasis Gardener just to get perfect mana. Well, we already have perfect like, mana. Yeah, but more mana. Like, I feel like more mana is always better. Here's my only issue with that. Okay. Getting to five doesn't help us. Getting to six helps us. Getting to five helps us if we draw a two drop. That is true. We're going to end I up just having to take two, though. Yeah, we do take some damage. I guess we could also play Griff this turn as the other option. I actually, I like Griff. Okay. It is a little bit more defensive, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I just, I guess I'm the fan of just, like, getting the mana happening. As well, what I like is this next turn. This is going to ensure me damage. It allows mm -hmm. me to kill a creature and play a creature. That's true. With the skewer of the critics, that, that's a really good point. Where they get out? A 3-2? Okay. Yeah, so here we can go Summoner plus, uh, I guess, if we want to get their 2-2. Two, two. I don't think we even have to get their 2-2, two, two, though. I'm not going to bother. And I'm actually just going to... Saddle and then just push in for 2. Feels great. Yeah, we're going to gank 2. And we're going to lose 2. But I 'm fine with that. Yeah, it's a, it's a 4 point swing. And so that feels really good. Okay, so enters the battlefield, exile the top card of your library until the turn you may play that card. So we got three colors. They have it all, unless they're double on any of these. Okay, that's a bit of a trouble. Can't yep. kill it. Journey to Nowhere fixes that problem. It does. And I do kind of like that because then we can also skewer the critics. Um, oh, I suppose we can. No, we can't. can't. Yeah. Do we journey to nowhere or do we sit? I don't think this is I don't worth think we have killing to yet. yet. Yeah, I think instead we just power up the um the griff and just push in for some lifelike in the air. 
I think, yeah, I think we saddle it again. Let's saddle that for two, right? I'm not blo huh? We uh, can saddle three. Oh, it saddles three. Yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, because we're going to take six. And that's going to be eight because we're not going to... Well, we could block here. I don't care about the mana now from this anymore. Yeah, I think we're happy to trade with the, the Wolverine. We're also at a pretty healthy life total. Yeah. And now we can we can skewer the critics now also if we wanted to. But again, I don't know if it's worth doing. You mean the Wolverine? Yeah. I think it actually think... it might be it might be worth doing because it'll clear the way for our 3-3. Well it doesn't clear the way. Well, if that attacks, yes. Yeah, it's I suppose. Let's just do it now. I think because we have the journey to nowhere, clearing off the board helps a little bit. All right, so now this is the situation. If you want to swing in with both, I'll block here. I disagree. I think now, I don't think we trade with her 2-2. Two -two. We just don't need the mana, mana, though. Like, what is this going to do for us later? Um, I mean, that's fair. I, I guess, yeah, that's that's a decent point. So you just want to clean off the board? I think that our, our creature is more valuable than theirs is, though. I mean, it might actually for the saddle ability. I'll say for that. Yeah. And they could do a trick as well, but I would rather the trick it's used on this. Sure. I guess it does allow us to get a five drop and play Journey to Nowhere if we had to. Yeah. For and right like now. We, do, we definitely do have some of those potential draws. Gotta okay. keep it. It's a great one to keep on top, yeah. Yeah, if we're just gonna be going removal. So what does their Desecrator do? It like sacks creatures, right? You could sack a creature, put a plus one, plus one. And then, okay. Create a treasure token. If it's an outlaw. Okay, they've got some kind of trick here. I'm sensing something is up, but yeah. I think I mean we don't we have no way of making the summoner a four four. But there's I think no we, flash creature they could have though that could kill no, this. I was thinking more of like an exile effect, like they like exile target attacker or some nonsense. Yeah, like I that. think we attack all in here. I don't yeah. think we saddle. Okay. I, I'm open I, to I it. I think we try and push some damage. Sure. Just because they could holy cow block there, that's fine. Yep, that's true. But if you yeah, have I a removal, I don't want to saddle it and waste it. So if you already have four no. damage, yeah. Yeah, I, I So agree that's what that. I was thinking, sure. something like that. So at least we pushed in the damage. Yeah, agreed. And I'm gonna let him keep hitting us for now. Yeah, we're at 18, well, I think that- I mean, we have double removal. I think, yeah, I have one more turn. One more turn. Yeah. I, I three four. I don't love <clears throat> having to kill that. And there's a good chance they might want to start leaving that back as a blocker. Yeah, and there's also like much more dangerous potential cards like Vadmir. Okay, so now I will take care of it though. Yes, agreed. I think. Is there yeah. a benefit for either one of these? They're the same, right? Well, yeah, they're functionally the same except one is cheaper. Yeah. So I, we'll play the more expensive one. And Vadmir um, can gain counters if it, they commit crimes, right? Yes. And they can do that on our turn also, right? Yes. So so I'm just going to swing all in, I feel like. You think play I, this now and just get in for five? No, no, let's, let's stop for a second. So what do you think are the chances that they have? Because like, like, if they can target us this turn, then they can blow out our gardener with their Vadmir. Oh, that's true. Make, Okay, so that that's the good point for that playing it now. So I think I think it's worth playing it now. We're also pushing them quite a bit on their life total. Yeah, especially I mean, if they do have a removal spell, there yeah. is four man or four damage instant speed, two damage instant speed. So and blowing, getting us blown out could cost us the game. So I think it's better to just clean off the board. Admittedly, we don't have any more removal now, but correct. Yeah. So this is a little tricky, right? Oh, that is good. It's a good one. That's a great draw. Glad we kept a, a land. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. So what we could find. Ugh. Ugh. So I guess, yeah, we just attack with summoner here. Yeah, I think we have to. We have to at least try and force that block. If they have the blowout, they got the blowout on us. Yeah. So what does Kirvik do if they commit a crime? They get to get back their cards. Oh, fun. 
Yeah, hundred percent. Try to kill Cure Figure. <laughs> they probably have like the first strike thing. Yep, quick draw. Pretty good. I wonder why they double blocked like that though. I guess in case we had something else, maybe. Arcrit plus one games first strike and Arcrit. Like if we had like a pump spell. They yeah, I guess. Still... That, oh, that's true. Good, good point. <laughs> we could add trample or something like that. They wanted to protect themselves. Yeah. Thing is, if they could commit a crime. Right. Well, what are their black? Actually, they have no black cards oh, in the graveyard, ooh, so never mind. Nasty card. Oh, this is not good. Yep, we gotta draw some action. <laughs> All right, well, let's just pass. I mean, the thing is, they have to, to a degree, hold back. A little bit, yeah. If I'm them, I attack in with the two twos. Yeah. For sure. I think maybe. So do we just take it? I'm just taking we... it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. It's got to be the 4 3, right? Um, Does it, though? Like, because Caravic can still do nonsense, right? I mean, if they have a black card in there and commit a crime, and they oh, have to I pay suppose. two life as well. Okay, so let's get the Rictus Robber then. Yeah, that makes sense. Now this also kind of, I mean, it's worrisome for them if you want to attack in again like that. For sure. It definitely slows them down a little bit, potentially. We still need some more action. Yeah. To clear oh up. my goodness. That was, uh, that was great. So now, um, <clears throat> do we start trading tutus? What do you think? Like we can attack with our peddler here and they basically force a block. Yeah, I think we pump up the peddler and just swing in with it. Um, now, the... The, the, the downside of that is, I guess that opens them up to a pretty decent attack on back on us, but they're at four, so I think it's worth it. I agree. I feel like if they had something, they would have yeah. done the trick last turn. For sure. And getting this trade, I'm fine with. For sure. Yeah, we're definitely in top deck mode. <laughs> Huh, touching my creatures. Oh, they, oh no, what a blowout. Yeah, that was pretty nasty. All right, so now they're just coming in for five, but again, no black spells, so they don't get to use the ability. Oh, is that a hearse? Yep. Pretty nasty. All could right. be a short, it could be a short game. Oh, yikes. Yeah. Oof. Just too much land. Yeah. 10 lands, 11 lands. We needed to stretch our cards a little farther. I guess we could have been like a little more discerning with like our You Were the Critics, perhaps. That's like the one potential card that I'm looking at. That was the only potential one, but then they would have, oh geez. They would have oh, had God. a three, two on the battlefield that whole time though. I mean, Ooh. we would have had to block earlier. Yeah. yeah so we're just straight up dead. <laughs> yup. A little late, my friend. GG's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they got out all of our removal before you uh, go put a Terror of the Peaks. Yep. Yeah, no, we just didn't draw any of our big things. It's not like we have any bombs. And that's the big difference between this deck and our last one. We don't have a sure. bomb in this one. Yep. This is definitely a very bomb heavy set for sure. Yeah. So that's I why, I mean, I, I think Here's... this would be a hard one to do a big, big run on just because of that fact. Yeah. This was definitely a a game where like if we drew some more action in the mid game we could have pulled it out 100 percent. i mean let's let, right. take three of our lands turn them into creatures we have this game yeah. so which begs the question like how's our mana i think we still want to run 17. i think we want to run 17 only because we're going three colors yeah i think we for sure would drop it to 16 if we were just straight gruel well i mean like we have two six drops true with the one ramper yeah. Two six drops, a five drop. Ooh. Yeah, I'm probably throwing this one back. Yeah, me too. That's Keep this. I think we throw back. Oh, God. What do we throw back here? I feel like we might want to throw back the commando, actually. Well, actually, I guess the question is how much do we need the gardener? 
Like, I like Gardner, but maybe Commando's better. What do you think? I think, like, we definitely keep all the land and we keep the Burrow Fiend and then the Journey. This is 100% keep. For yep. me, I want to keep this. Okay, let's throw we back the... We were underpowered last time. Let's throw back the Gardener. I think we can get away with the three land because we are actually we have all of our colors. Yeah, I don't love getting rid of that either, though. I almost want to get rid of the removal, but that seems crazy. I think that that seems a little a little wild. I, yeah, I'd either throw back the the commando or the the mana fixer there. It's yeah, I mean, not... worst case, I could still always play this on turn three. So Ex exactly, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Plus, like, we play Stubborn on two and then Free Strider on three and then get it going. Yeah. Which feels really okay, good, get actually. Okay, haste in. Yep. Oh, that's nasty. If we, All if right, we, we just draw, need like, to find another red now. mountain off the top. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I think we, like, the, looking how this game is going, I think we actually want a Free Stride on three. Or we could just journey. Oh, smash is really yeah. good. I'm, I'm, I'm killing that creature right now. Let's smash. And then next turn, plot this. Yeah. Unless Agreed. I get a red mana. Yeah. Smash is really good. Just stop that little bit of beat down, at least for right now. Mm-hmm. Even up our life totals. Equip two on that one. Yep. That does feel pretty good. Can't, uh, I do like this if you actually get it going right. Because when we need mm -hmm. a few blockers out... Yeah. You know, the other thing I was going to say is that uh, that colorless land from the last match was really powerful. Yeah, so, like, can't, yeah. Can't, can't block Wow. Land. Uses a premium removal on our... Okay. I mean, I don't blame them for doing that. Like, the Burrower is like... It is like a, a win condition. Yeah, it's, I mean, without another good. creature out, though, I'm a little surprised. Yeah, that's fair. I just felt like that was a good time to plot right there. Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, Ooh. Security's pretty good. Okay. I think that's so gonna... I think, I think we like... Um, let's let's pedal. Oh, well, hang on to the land for a second. Let's pedal real quick. Oh, see, I was Cause almost... Because if, hmm. if we pedal away the land, then we could also journey. Oh, no, we well, can't. No, we can't. Oh, now I see the... Yeah, the problem. Yeah, yeah so you want to pedal plus journey. But what do we pedal then? Yeah, we, we, we have nothing to pedal. I think so it might journey. just be get rid of this. Well, we could also... No, they're going to play this. I mean, but they're going to have the last. So I think we actually do get rid of their 4-5. I think so, too. We can't take that kind of damage. So exactly. I think we just have to get rid of it. Yeah, I think we just do that and then free strike. Because what they were going to do is they were going to put it on it and pump it. That was going to be 6 damage to us. Let's hold the planes, though. I'm going to hold the planes, though, to see what land we draw. For pedal next turn. Yes. Yeah, hundred percent agree. If we get red, it's I'm just gonna play this. Oh yeah. But <laughs> I mean, if oh yeah. Outside of that, right. Okay, that's fine. Right, tap this down. Yep. I love the fact that they're paying two mana for that. Agreed. Right, we're gonna win this race. Do you also have a three drop? Ooh, nice. Oh, that is beautiful synergy right there. That was pretty good. I love well, that. Thank Thankfully, they only have a two-two. <laughs> Yes. Ugh. Okay. Let's get yeah, stopping first. me from. Yeah. Okay. In case just, that's right. In case we get another land. Yeah. Just see what happens. And. Yeah. No land. That hurts. But at least we can block. Well, no, we can't block. Never mind. No. Um. So we'll drop the nine here. Yeah, I don't love that. Yeah, we need this just to have those blockers. Mm-hmm. Agreed. This is the type of situation where this comes into play. Hey, whoa, whoa, don't go touching that. You don't have any enchantment removal. I guess what we could have done is we could have pedaled away that the, the boss and then played the Grover Drizzly last turn. Like we could have. Yeah, I don't like I don't that, know. though. I, I think know if we're going to win right. this game. <laughs> I say I don't know that it's right, but we could have done that. Yeah. OK, that's why I was wondering. Oh, nasty. Yeah. That's why I think this card is actually just really good to go main deck. Yeah, agreed. I mean, like, it has so much versatility. Yep. All right, we need these one ones out here bad. I know. Right? Holy oh. cow. Good lord. Oh, man. Ooh. 
I think we have to get the land and just play the Grizzly. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree. I mean, this this lasso is going to be the thing that kills us. So yep, I need untapped red. Yeah. And we're basically in a chump lock situation. It's looking pretty rough. Maybe uh, seven, eight, nine. We can't take nine. I don't think so. Not in hope to win. I think we block their four or five. Yeah, we have to absorb as much as possible. And at least we get some one ones, some chumpers to maybe keep us in this thing. So electric. We had one more mana. Oh, yeah, we could. OK, so this is still good. So we yeah. draw mana next time we get to kill their two four and uh -huh. drop this for free. I like that. And we can't attack in because then that's just one less thing they have no. to. Yeah, I think we're. In I mean, we're still situation. in a chump block situation. We're not killing anything of theirs. I don't love it. Yeah, I don't know how we come back from this one. Thunder Lasso is really good. It appears the, to be. The raid is what changed the game. Yeah. But Thunder Lasso, yeah, it's good when, again, you're on this one in one thing like we had going. For sure, for sure. Gets another creature out of that. Yep. Yeah, and the fact we're down at five life. It's not looking taps, good. Yeah, no. So. So we can try to take out their 3-3. Three, three. I, think I think that's the way to take two. Yeah, I agree. We have to start eliminating something. Oh my god, yeah. Oh man, do you have another blowout for us? If they do, it's over. <laughs> yeah. No, just trying to sign damage. That's once per turn or... Oh no, anytime No, no, want. that is not once per turn. That is every time. So now we can Electro Dominance, which is really good. Yeah. We can also do that as an instant, right? That is so true. Put, it, put into play as an instant trick. If they have a creature, though, you would have wished we did it earlier. Yeah, I kind of want to do it because if they draw a creature, we just they, they get more value. Um, but it, it might matter with their lasso for tapping stuff down. To we can blow them out with it. I think that they well, because not of a what we have. Out, but um, I mean, it's all right. It, we'll it, see. It'll, it'll create some unexpected chaos. We're still in a super. We rough still position. we still have nothing to take care of their four or five. That's true. Okay. Yeah, that's just, that's over. It's another hasty creature. Yeah. Their deck is very nasty, yeah. actually. So even if we killed that before, I don't think it would have mattered. I don't think so. Yeah, they really made the, the lasso work super well. Yeah, they, they had it working very well. Like, we're still just dead, right? Yeah, we're just dead. I mean, even uh, even if we block here, yeah, right, two, four, matter. five, and yeah, so yep. it doesn't even matter. Ugh. Falls to two and two. Oof. I mean, we've yeah. been at least competitive in it. Last game, we drew really poorly. This game, just a little bit. I think they just had like a very aggressive, dedicated strategy that just was a little bit more powerful. Mm -hmm. All right. We're, we're... Well. This next win is absolutely huge. So only getting 250 gems compared to 1,000 is just absolutely gigantic. Yeah. And the other way to look at it is our first draft, we got seven wins. We gained 700. So even if we only win three, we've lost 500. We're still at a bonus. However, you now go to a two win after a seven win. We have now lost gems. So always the way I look at it, this third win is crucial. If you go three and three, you're not happy about it but you could live with it. Anything for below sure. that is, it's pretty punishing. Especially for those of you who are gems like a huge commodity. I'm still over 50,000. It's not like the end of the world for me, but I don't like it. <laughs> You'd prefer to be going up than down <laughs> for sure. Uh, 
I think we got all our cards. We can, I think we keep it. We also yeah. have ankle biter. Yeah, I think we keep it. We're on the draw. Mm -hmm. Boy, we need to see a land though. Yeah, and I think that's another thing. Like our deck is a little bit slower. We don't have as many like two drops. Yeah. yeah. Which definitely oh, hurts boy. us. Gonna need to get a little bit of land here. For a variety of reasons too. Cause what I would love is, I don't think they're just gonna block this. Uh, no blocks. Yep. So they're not gonna block here. And then I'll be able to at least kill their 4-2. Oh, agreed. Yeah, I would definitely attack here and see, and then get the skewer. Yeah. So it's going to keep us alive a little bit, but goes from flooding to cannot find it. And we need to find the second red too quickly. For sure. If we don't, yeah, obviously we this is our next play, but it is a fight spell. Is yeah. the only unfortunate thing. Oh, that's nice. Love yeah. that card. Oh my gosh. Well, well, in a whimper at the moment. <laughs> right. Hopefully we don't go out this way. I mean, we have to play this. We have nothing else. Yep. And the thing is, they don't even have like anything. Like we would be dominating this game. It'd be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's gonna help. I think we get rid of our probably Cactarantula, or the, actually maybe the I, Paladin. Yeah. No, I'm no. Keeping... Well, Cactarantula Paladin gains us three life, which I think is more important, honestly. You could throw something else away, but I think that, like, um, Cactus Ranch is the farthest from what we have right now. Yeah, double green and. Okay, now it was really Land is huge. <laughs> All right. Stem the bleeding a little bit here. At least they're not coming too hard at us. I know, right? right we might be able to come back from this. If they give us that chance, yeah. 100% snap blocking their 2-2. I suppose we have Savage Smash, which is the other thing, consideration. That's my but consideration. I think we'd rather just play Scalestorm next turn and just make this trade. Or attempt to make this trade. Oh, I'm actually, I'm playing Commando. Although now, we could... If we wanted to be a little risky on life, it wouldn't even be too much. Yeah, we could actually we could get Spinewood Paladin on the um, uh, the plot. Yeah, and um, that's only four damage. I don't think that's too bad. I think it's fine. I think we can definitely plot Paladin here, just to ensure that life gain. Yeah, gives us the ping. That is worrisome, actually, right there. We will have to worry about that. Remove two loot counters from it and draw a card. Ooh. Okay. I that almost is, becomes the target I have to kill. Do we have anything that removes artifacts? No, no, I mean this creature. They're gonna draw the card, but we don't want them to just draw and draw and draw is what I'm saying. Oh, sure, no, I see what you're saying, yeah. Okay. That's good. So now we can lasso by the law. I guess they're dead I suppose. I mean, if, do we want to do that? <sighs> I almost feel like we have to. Yeah. We can't let them keep drawing cards. That's true. We want them yeah. to have some other way of committing a crime. That's a guaranteed one counter That's on this true. per turn. The, yeah, other, the thing other thing is get greedy and play this out. I feel like that also helps us like really take over the game by getting summoner out. And then we can use our removal offensively with like Savage Smash to like push even more. Yeah. Damage. And um, remind me what Collective Defiance does for like all, all the different modes. So, it, I mean, the one we care about right now is four damage to a creature. The other one's discard in our hand. We don't want that. Oh, the other one is that. three yeah. damage to our opponent. We don't care about that at the moment. For sure. So realistically, oh. And then on our turn, they're gonna commit another crime. Do we trade here? I think we do. 
I think we I think oh hang on. Can we play a four a four power creature next turn? No. No. So I think we trade. We attempted our, our greed play oh. Yuck. Well, we gotta hurts. run it back. So now I think we might have to lasso by the law that that four four. I think so too. They're just gonna get so much value now, but I think it just yeah. has to happen. Value, but not pressure. <laughs> pressure is what will kill us. No matter what, they were gonna. Oh, they didn't use this. Oh, they no, they used, they had no mana for it. Okay, that's right, because they exactly. played their spell. Okay. Yep. Oh God, they've got Tywa Keen also. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh god, that's a combo with Deadeye, I just realized. Mm-hmm. Good god. We have to kill Tywin immediately. Yeah, I mean, we we could Savage Smash. We should do that. I think we need to Savage Smash immediately. Shame we can't double spell here. I well, love we could just play it. I think we, we have to just play it. I think we have to just play it and not get greedy here. Yeah. And I've even... Yeah, I, I'd Savage Smash on the Free Strider to make it more likely to, to kill Time with I agree. Can't have another spell like that come out. No. We could even pump it if we wanted to, to make it even more likely to kill it. Is there something that would... I'm just wondering if there's anything that would... Uh... Two mana pump that's going to make it past five toughness? Yeah. Would anything make it past five? That I could think mm -hmm. of. No, like X through that, like plus three, plus three. So we, we probably don't need to pump it then. We don't foresee them really attacking in though hard. Probably not, no. We'll, we'll see if in response, okay. I mean, in response, I could think of a two damage spell instant. I can't right. think of anything instant speed doing three. What's oh, the no. counter? And indestructible. Well, I was I was super afraid of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what I was thinking too. Because now you just hope they didn't have two. Because Dead Idealist just kills us now, right? Because they can pump it for mm -hmm. seven. Well, it doesn't actually kill us. It's very close to killing us. So you have to pay one for this. Yeah. So we have to get a red mana now and kill this. Never oh, mind. Wow. <laughs> wow. Woo! Okay. I mean, that was a game though where. Uh, so three colors, I think, really hurt us in this one. I think so too. Right. Yeah, we it, had two games. We could not find the red. We fell too far behind. One of the games, we just didn't get the cards. Yeah. It's it's true, and this is this is in in a way, it's kind of good because it's it's showing that like you definitely do get punished for going three color if you know you don't have like an extremely good reason to. Yeah, and the thing with us is we didn't have an extremely good reason to be any one of our colors. We had no bombs in here. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say that, like, the Scalestorm Summoner, the Burrow Fiend, and the um, the uh, the Seraphic Steed are all, like, mini bombs, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're good things to go in our deck, but there's nothing that's a game changer that we had. For sure. Like, this is, like, a fine rare, but I don't think this is a, a top... I'm changing the game rare. Right. No, it's just a very solid. Like, yeah. it's, it's just a solid card. And, I mean, again, I love this as a removal. We have great premium removal spells. Yeah. But everybody does in this format. So that's, that's true. That's the other thing to kind of think about is that with 45 different removal spells in this set, like, you're going to have access to removal all the time. Yeah, 100%. So, I mean, Definitely not where we want to be two and three after a seven one run, but they're going to happen along the journey. You just have to shake it off and we'll try yeah. again. Yeah. So much fun here to, uh, to do this draft with you and I really appreciate you again, Ace. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing it. And again, we're going to try and do one of these every single weekend, as long as our schedules match up. So we're going to do uh, at least every weekend for the next few weeks and, Till probably about mid-May, and then I have way too much grading to be doing. Uh, <laughs> and so then after that, we'll have to see. Yeah. Try to plan these out. All right. Well, that, thank you so much. Good. And so until next time, remember, Appreciate you're an you ace. <laughs>